Hi guys, it's me, Sharon. If you're new to my channel or if you're returning, hello and welcome. Today on Creative Glam, I'm gonna spring into summer with outdoor living. I'm gonna share with you my summer outdoor tablescape ideas and I'm gonna DIY a tic-tac-toe board. We're really enjoying the warmer weather and we're spending a lot of time outdoors on our deck. As a part of our family time out on the deck, we enjoy playing cards uh, or Uno or Monopoly and tic-tac-toe. So I've decided to create my own tic-tac-toe board. I looked on Amazon to purchase a tic-tac-toe board, but they were over $30 and it was gonna take Amazon uh, almost a month to get it to me. And I had to pay additional for shipping even though I have Prime. I decided, no, I can do this myself. So I decided that I would create my own tic-tac-toe board for my family to use outside on the deck. I went to Hobby Lobby and I purchased a large mirror and I already had the washi tape. I purchased some X's and O's. They were, hmm, I think they were a dollar. They were $1.99 each and at the time they were having a 50% off sale. So there's a pack of two. So I guess about 50 cents a letter. So let's get started on this tic-tac-toe DIY. I'm gonna use my washi tape to create my grid lines for the tic-tac-toe board. I would have used white, but I didn't have any white and I thought this silver was really pretty. So I'm gonna go with this, but you can use whatever color washi tape you like. You can even paint the lines if you like, but I have so much washi tape, I figured I might as well use them. Actually, this is 13. It's 13 by 13. I thought it was 12 by 12. So in tic-tac-toe, there's nine squares. So I'm gonna have to do two lines this way and two lines this way. And then you have to leave room for the amount of washi tape. My washi tape is approximately a half inch wide. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Make sure you leave a comment what outdoor activities will your family do this summer? And I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. I think that's good. Okay, and we'll do the same thing in the other direction. This guide is a part of my Tim Holtz glass cutting board. It has a little lip on there and it helps you to, uh, to guide you when you're making cuts. So it's really helping me out quite a bit on here. I, I like that, it makes a difference. I decided to go with the white because, um, I don't know. I just like the way the white letters look better. But you can make your letters whatever color you want. You can even spray paint these to whatever your decor is if you want to change the colors. Uh, but I had intended on using a white grid line, but I didn't have white washi tape. So that's why I went with the silver washi tape. Um, so that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to do white, and then I decided to do white and silver. But whatever your decor colors are, you can really tailor this, this uh, project to your liking. I 
like that. This DIY is super easy and super cute and super fun for the whole family. Now let's take this tic-tac-toe board outdoors and I'll show you my summer outdoor tablescape. Connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out, and make sure you follow. I think my tabletop fire bowl is very pretty as a centerpiece on my tablescape. And I was able to incorporate a couple of my own DIYs. I kept it simple because again we have fire on the table. I kept it light and I kept it summer. So we're going to eat al fresco with the barbecue that's coming off the grill. And we'll also play cards and board games. Hopefully soon it'll be time to eat.
I love the way it turned out. And if you did too, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Leave me a comment. What outdoor activities will your family do this summer? I'd also appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.